This better work. Always does. All right, everybody. Go ahead and start to shut your mouths. Settle into your chairs. Oh, oh God. This chair sucks. <clears throat> okay, listen up. No, you listen up. You don't want to teach us biology. And we know you used to teach philosophy. Well, we think whoa, biology... Whoa, whoa, shut up, shut up, shut up. No, no, no. Stop, stop. Turn the music off. Turn it off. Take your seats. What are you, nuts? Don't ever surprise me with a rap. Don't ever rap about learning. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. You had a saxophone solo in your rap? Yeah. That's too bad. Why don't you come on out of there, big guy? Wanna toss that puppy in the trash for me? Yeah. Good. Saxophones do not belong in rap music. You were gonna make it rain, huh? What, notebooks part of the rap thing? No. All right. Now look. I realize I haven't been making the most of your time, but that is gonna start to change as of right now. As I mentioned, I've been trying to mentally break my nemesis, Miles Leonard. He currently has the job that is rightfully mine and I want it back. He seems to be winning at the moment, but by the time we're done with him, he's gonna be in a loony bin begging for death. Don't you think you'd have a better chance of getting the job if you focused on working hard as opposed to trying to make him go crazy? Now you see, my actions are justified because they produce a better outcome than any other action in this particular case. It's a basic philosophy. Act utilitarianism. Jeremy Bentham, stop writing that down. Now, I happen to know that Miles is currently single. So, your assignment for today is to catfish him on his Facebook page. <laughs> what are you guys waiting for? Catfish! You write a flirty Facebook message, you know, using a, a fake name. You call yourself, like, Linda, and we'll send the best one to Miles. All right, look, at this point, you guys should all be catfishing or dead asleep. 